There are so many models of, of uh, emotional intelligence. How do I know which one's more accurate? Hmm. Hmm. Um, well, that's a big question. I think when you look at a model of emotional intelligence, firstly, um, it should appear to be about that. A lot of models of emotional intelligence out there are both about emotional intelligence and the outcomes of mm -hmm. it. There's a particular model, for example, that mixes um, emotional self-regulation with optimism. In. Now, I would argue that optimism is an outcome of managing your emotions well. It's not necessarily emotionally intelligent. Some um, people are very optimistic in a very unemotionally intelligent way. Do you know what I mean by, mm, by mm, that? Mm. So I think when you look at a model, um, number one, it should really be about emotional intelligence. Mm. When you're looking at a model um, for workplace applications, I think there are a number of different things to think about. If you're looking to um, really assess your talent, you know, where you might be going to be providing feedback, but it's about how do I make choices about my talent. Sometimes a model that measures a lot of things, like a big model, for mm. example, that might have 10 different factors to it, self-awareness and so on, um, that might be useful because it provides you a lot of information. In a learning context, however, those big models are detrimental, not positive. Mm. So, you know, if you think about psychology and models that have been popular and have really worked in shifting culture and things like that in businesses, often they're smaller models, not bigger models. Mm. Um, you know, in, in psychology, there's a magic number. One of them is seven plus or minus two. Mm. And that sort of refers to how many things we can, you know, retain. typically retain. So models that have been very useful in learning and development have typically been the four quadrant model. The memorable model, the mm. model that um, easily comes to people, that becomes a language and a way of life in an organisation, as opposed to you know a mm. big complex circumplex, for example, that yeah. is very interesting to academics mm. and really difficult to remember in practice. <laughs>